Threats, threats, and more threats. When will this end? When will this end, my family? When? When are the media and the farm, when are they going to stop threatening Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? When? My family, today, the New York Post owned by Rupert Murdoch published an article with a headline that my family say this and I quote and allow me to kindly please read you this headline and I quote Prince Harry can't forget about reconciling with the royals if he publishes another tell all expert says in quotes a resounding crash i repeat in quotes a resounding crash you know when you use the word crash on your headline you remember what happened to diana you remember how harry's mother was chased to her death by Parazi, paid for by the UK tabloid press. You remember that Diana also lost her own security family that she had when she was in the royal family. It was also taken away. And the royal family told us that Diana was the one who declined to have royal protection officers keeping her safe. That's what they said. And the sad thing is, Diana isn't here to tell us that, you know what? I declined to have security. Diana is not here to my family corroborate what the royal family told us when Diana died. They say Diana was the one who did not want to have royal protection officers guarding her. And the reason that my family, I am saying this today is because of how Prince Harry is in court fighting for security for his family, for Meghan, for Archie, and for Lilibet Diana. That's why I am saying this. Prince Harry's mother was chased to her death. Prince Harry, we all know what happened to him, Meghan, and Doria when they were in New York. Prince Harry was pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi who chased after him, Meghan, and Doria. And my family, don't forget that Daily Mail and Daily Express, two UK tablets, had the picture of Harry, Meghan, and Doria in a taxi as they were trying to evade paparazzi who were pursuing them. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And my family, today, you are hearing that once again, the Maroc on press have written an article with a headline Talking about a crash. As they demand, Harry keeps quiet. As they demand, Prince Harry not to say anything, anything about, you know, what was done to him by Charles and William in the royal family. You know, Harry told us that there are things which he did not say or mention in spare. In fact, he says, that my family, the, he had enough material, he had enough content that my family could, basically you could have two books. Prince Harry told us that. My family, he had enough content for two books. However, he said there are things that have happened between him and Charles and also him and William that he has not mentioned 
that he also did not talk about because he says that my family if he talked about those then William and Charles may never ever forgive him my family however Harry did say that he sees that if he is willing to forgive them for what he did to him you know and Megan then my family he was hoping that also you know William and Charles that they can end this smear campaign against Megan and Prince Harry and that my family this rift can be healed but the farm refuses to end their smear campaign against Harry and Meghan while demanding for Harry and Meghan to keep their mouth shut as they continue to go after Harry and Meghan because the smear campaign has not stopped. It has not stopped. It continues even to this day. It hasn't stopped. My family. Even such Meghan Markle news and my family, when you look at the headlines written, when you look at the content published about Megan by Talk TV, GB News, my family, you can clearly see these people continue to bully Megan. And Megan has not uttered a word about Charles, about William, about Kate, about Camilla. For my family years now but still they refuse to let her go but still my family they want to sabotage megan's work in america and that's why i'm saying i have seen that uk media my family are going to america to try and arrest megan there her place of sanctuary a place by she and her resort protection my family from when they fled the uk their home my family uk media want to create a toxic environment there and my family it is also wrong what the uk media my family are doing and what they're doing has got to my family they called out and, and even you know for you to understand what I am talking about my family. I want you to see this video from GB News whereby they're going to America to ask Americans questions about Meghan Markle, my family. You know? And this is very important for my family for you to be able to, to hear. You know, GB News want to enter the American market. And my family... They believe their way in is using Megan's name. My family, please can you just hear this? The questions that they're asking Americans, my family. You know, American conservatives, my family. Those who are basically, you know, the usual Trump supporters, my family. Kindly please hear what this. Megan Markle. What do you think about Megan Markle? My family. You know? They're going everywhere asking about my family, you know, Megan. Well, Once again, this. I really don't like her. <laughs> I think that um, being like a conservative person, I think she stands for too many liberal things in life. And um, I don't like which. My family, you know, I want you to hear that, please, my family. These are, you know, the Trump supporters that GB has chosen to go to to continue their hate campaign targeting Megan. You know, my family. I want you to understand what I'm trying to say here because my family, you know, for that, you need context. And that's why I have said that I have seen that UK media are trying to go to America. We say are going to America to go and ask questions about Megan, to try my family create a toxic environment for Megan in the US, like they did to her in the UK. And my family, this harassment must stop but sadly it's also endorsed by senior members of the royal family it's endorsed by william by charles remember they're the ones who have signed off 
with the media and given them their consent to go after Harry and especially Meghan. And that's why you see constantly it is Meghan who is their number one target. It is Meghan who they want to destroy. That's why you see them target Meghan oftenly. They don't even talk about Prince Harry much. Mostly it's Meghan who they target. Mostly. With their My Family Hate campaign and Smear campaign. And it has got to stop. How do you keep issuing threats towards Harry and Meghan? Telling them, Harry and Meghan, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. When you are going to their own home, to the country of refuge, to their home right now in the US to go and harass them there. While demanding, Harry and Meghan, keep quiet. Harry and Meghan, don't say anything. You know, I remember that earlier this year, when the palace basically, you know, worked with Robert Hartman, another carnival of so-called expert, to bully Lily Bedana over a name. I remember the response from palace sources. First of all, they were happy that Lilibet was being bullied over a name. Secondly, the palace also did something. My family, the palace also did something. Now, here's what the palace also did at the time. At the time, palace sources said about what was my family going on, whereby we were witnessing, once again, Lilibet, Harry and Meghan's beloved daughter being bullied over her name again. Earlier this year, palace sources said they were afraid that they will provoke Prince Harry into writing another book. My family, that's what happened earlier this year. Earlier this year, they were saying they are afraid that they may provoke Harry into writing another book. By doing what? By bullying his daughter over a name. The point here is this. The reason we have Spare, the reason we have the Harry and Meghan documentary, the reason that Harry and Meghan did the Oprah interview is my family to set the record straight. After many years of lies being told about them by the media who are working with the farm, working with Prince William, K. Mouton, Charles and Camilla, to smear Meghan all because they were jealous of her and Harry's star power. You know, my family, that's what, you know, happened. The royal family worked with people, with people like Piers Morgan, Jeremy Clarkson, to bully Megan. And they've been doing this for a very, very long time. While demanding Harry and Meghan say nothing. While demanding that Harry and Meghan don't talk. I even remember Prince Harry's interview with ITV's Tom Bradby when he was promoting Spare. I remember very well because my family have a good memory in this, you know, stuff. Whereby Prince Harry said, in the Oprah interview, my wife Megan shared that she struggled in the royal family of how she even contemplated taking her own life while she was in the royal family. That was the moment that Tuki Media should even have backed off from Megan and left her and Harry alone. But instead, what did they choose to do even after learning that Megan was struggling, that Megan even thought of taking her own life because the smear campaign and the abuse, the bullying had affected her mental health. What did the community choose to do? My family, they increased their attacks on Megan. Instead of leaving her alone, they increased their attacks on Megan. Look what has gone on with Kay Moulton. Well, by UK Media, my family, all because we've been asking questions, where's Kate Moulton? Where is she? Where is she? All because Kate was exposed as a liar 
who created a fake photo of herself and her kids on Mother's Day somehow by exposing her lies we've been accused of spreading conspiracy theories my family we've been accused of somehow trolling Kimbleson and that is not what we have done if you want to see trolls look at those who call themselves Kate's fans or Kate supporters I mean if you are a Kate fan you think you even have a fan account well, by your praising Kim Milton, well, by your supporting Kim Milton, but the entire content, even from the media, for my family, shower William and Kate with praise, who give them psychophantic coverage, even when you look at their own content, my family, mostly they are focusing on Harry and Meghan. GB News had to send someone to the US to dispatch one of its carnival of so-called experts there to go ask questions about Megan. To go and ask questions about Megan. That's what they did. Because they want their negativity to continue. They want to find out what's the effect of this smear campaign against Megan. Is it taking hold? Are people, you know, believing the lies that are being fed about Megan, that's what they want to know. And my family, UK media must understand this. There are people, of course, who are gullible, who believe the lies that are being told about Megan. But those with common sense would never ever believe the lies that are being told about Megan. And that's why Harry and Megan are invited to countries like Nigeria. You know why? Not just because of my family, Harry founding the Ian Beatles Games. No, my family. But because my family, Harry and Meghan, are loved. Because Harry and Meghan are good people. And nobody believes the lies that are being told about Harry and Meghan by the media. I mean, think about Prince Andrew, for example, my family. Who is also a spare who has been destroyed, for example. Do you think any country will invite Andrew to my family to, to their country for a visit my family? They would not. They would not. Maybe unless they're ready to gain access to Charles, my family, then maybe somebody would, you know, invite Andrew. But it would never ever be on a, for a visit my family to even country. For that public official, you know, visit my family. That's never going to happen. Why? Because my family Nobody even truly wants to be pictured standing next to someone like Prince Andrew because my family, his reputation has been destroyed. He's been destroyed. Charles Spare Andrew has been destroyed. And my family, Harry and Meghan, have not. Harry. My family is William Spear has not been destroyed by the farm, has not been destroyed by the UK media. But they keep trying, they keep trying, even following to the US just to try and my family force him back to the UK using that, you know, court case by Heritage versus Department of Homeland Security to try and get Harry back to the UK by force, by you know, getting him deported. That's how desperate the UK tabloid media truly are. Extremely desperate. You know? And my family, the thing is, Harry, when he was with Tom Bradby, he said that even despite Megan sharing her experiences, UK media increased the attacks on her. Instead of stopping the attacks and leaving her and Harry alone. Prince Harry also said he had no intentions of pursuing court cases against Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror. He had no intentions of doing that. For my family, he clearly only did it because he could see the Turkey media don't want to leave him alone. He could see 
UK media going after his wife Megan and my family Harry found ways to try and protect his wife Megan. My family even sued the tabloid media. My family just to try and keep his family safe and also ensure that those who have engaged in phone hacking like Piers Morgan will eventually end up in prison where they belong. So my family, UK media and some D Rangers Online like to complain about the Oprah interview, about Spare, about the Harry Mega documentary, you know? But my family, may they please hear this. The reason why Harry Megan did it is because of your actions against them. It's because of your trolling of Megan. That's why they did it in the family. And if the royal family wants to continue allowing or approving these constant attacks towards Harry Meghan that happen on a daily basis, mostly towards Meghan and Harry's kids and family, then the royal family can't complain if Harry decides that my family, there is more that should be told. They, they, they can't complain. They can't complain. You can't go after Lilibet and then say, you know what? We are afraid that we might provoke Prince Harry into writing another book. You, 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 you can't behave like that and then expect Prince Harry to keep his mouth shut. You cannot sabotage Harry and Meghan and then expect them to keep their mouths shut. Like how the Wikimedia and the firm keep on allowing Wikimedia to go after Harry and Meghan and they are not doing anything to stop it. And then they demand, you know what? Harry, keep quiet. Don't you dare write another memoir. While the hounds, the wolves, keep on harassing Harry, harassing Meghan. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't, my family, you know, work like that. Let me read you, my family, some stuff on what uh, this person, you know, who goes by the name, you know, Jenny Bond, my family, has said. These people need to stop their threats towards Prince Harry. They need to. If you don't want Harry to write another memoir, it's simple. It's all so simple. It's all so simple. My family, stop your smear campaign against Harry Meghan. Let them live in peace in the US. Leave them alone. Let them work in peace. Let them sign new commercial deals in peace. Let them raise their kids in peace. But of course, UK media don't want that. And since they don't want that, then they can't complain if Harry decides to my family write another memoir. You just can't complain. My family, now here, my family, is what has been said. That Prince Harry has been warned to avoid writing a second book. That is a follow-up to his tell-all memoir, Spare. And following the release of Spare, Prince Harry revealed that he has enough content to write more books about his experience growing up as a royal. Now, Harry said that he was forced to cut out nearly half his content from the first draft. And while there is no shortage of royal stories in his arsenal, Prince Harry has reportedly been warned that publishing another book would slam any hope of future reconciliation with his estranged family. And that carnival of so-called expert Jenny Bond says, and I quote, I can't imagine 
that Prince Harry would contemplate a follow-up to spare. Now, my family, allow me to can you just say this, please? You know, Carnival of so-called expert Jenny Bond says that if Prince Harry wants to be able to reconcile with William and Charles, then he cannot publish more or less for actually, you know, write another book. Using that same exact logic that Jenny Bond is using. Using her own exact words of family. Let me twist and say this. If Prince William and Charles want to be able to reconcile with Prince Harry, why won't they stop briefing, threatening Prince Harry and Meghan? Why won't they stop taking part in books that carnival of so-called experts write on their behalf that are being used to smear Harry and Meghan? Why don't they refuse to take part or be part of those books? Why won't they demand UK Media to back off of Harry Megan, why can't they stop briefing against Harry and Megan? Why? If they want to be able to reconcile with Harry Megan, why won't they stop briefing against Harry? My family clearly, these people, these abusers, want to abuse Harry and Megan with impunity. And then expect victims of abuse, Harry and Meghan, to keep quiet, shut up, and not say anything about the abuse that they have experienced at the hands of the Wikimedia. You know, I remember that in Spare, Harry told us of how William physically assaulted him and family, about how William physically assaulted Prince Harry. I remember that carnival of so-called experts, experts were like, Harry, Harry, but why? Why did you put this in your book? This should have stayed between you and Prince William. My family, coming from the same same carnival of so-called experts, who when Megan closes her cardo front page, who when Megan cradles her baby bump, they complain, whinge, and mourn. When Megan ties her shoelace, my family, somehow is breaking news. I like, Harry, Harry, you should have kept this out of your book. <laughs> my family, make no mistake, these people know what happened between William and Harry when it happened. They knew of the tensions between William and Harry, they knew of it. And my family, UK Media, used that to create drama around Harry and Meghan, between William versus Harry and Harry versus William, and painting William in a positive light, knowing that he is the abuser, while painting Harry and Meghan, victims of abuse in a negative light. As UK Media tried, and keep trying to destroy them, my family, never keep quiet when you're abused. Speak up. Speak up and never ever keep quiet. Silence only empowers the abuser to keep on abusing my family. And if you can medium, keep on going after Harry Megan's friends, Harry Megan's business deals. Because as you all know, every company or my family organization that Prince Harry Meghan have worked with or are working with even right now have all been targeted by the key media. And they do that because of course as you all know number one they don't want Harry Meghan to make any money to earn a living they do not want Harry and Meghan to earn a living. They want Harry and Meghan at the mercy of Charles and William for money. That's what they want my family. And my family you can't target Harry and Meghan's income sources and then be like, Harry and Meghan, don't talk about 
the people who are targeting Harry and Meghan's income sources. Because I can tell you for a fact, William and Charles play a huge part in this smear campaign against Harry and Meghan. And people who are around Harry and Meghan are even companies that Harry and Meghan work with. Look at American Riviera Orchard, Meghan's lifestyle brand my family. Duty Media have already begun smearing my family, you know, Megan's brand. This is how Megan is able to pay her bills, earn a living. UK Media, my family have been targeting Megan's American Rivera Orchard luxury brand, my family. They were attacking her jams, dog biscuits, with negative press over and over again. An attempt at sabotaging Megan. And these same same individuals then demand Harry and Meghan, don't say anything. Don't say anything. You tell me, how does that even make sense to you? How does that even make sense to you? How does that even make sense? How does that even, you know, make sense? Because my family, the people who are behind this makeup against Harry Meghan are Charles and William and Keith and Camilla. And they are the ones who are like, Harry Meghan, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Because they want to abuse Harry Meghan and they want them quiet when they are being abused. Harry Meghan, as Harry said, silence only empowers the abuser to keep on abusing. Don't keep quiet when abused. You know? So clearly, to me, based on even what Jenny Bourne is saying, because of the actions of the media and basically, you know, the firm, who refused to condemn this abuse and bullying of Harry Meghan that has been going on for so many years now, clearly it means that the royal family approve of what is going on. Meaning clearly, they also don't want to reconcile or heal or mend the rift with Harry Meghan. And since that is the case, why should Prince Harry be the one who grovels and begs, please, please, take me back. Please, please, let's heal and mend this rift. Yes, Harry can be the bigger person. But also Prince Harry must never ever beg. He must never ever beg Charles and William for anything. You know? And uh, Jenny Bond says that she believes that if Harry was to publish a second book, that it would likely center on either his work on the Invitas Games or the joys of parenthood. You know? And in an interview last year, Harry said he feared the content he had cut out would cause an unrepairable rift with William and Charles and that the first draft was different. It was 800 pages and now it's down to 400 pages. It could have been two books. Put it that way. And the hard bit was taking things out. And Harry said this words, my family, and I quote, there are some things that have happened, especially between me and my brother, and to some extent between me and my father, that I just don't want the world to know. Because I don't think they would ever forgive me if Harry spoke of those things in my family. Prince Harry, if the royal family keeps on refusing, to end this mere campaign against you and Megan, Harry, you have every right in the world to release part two of your book. You have every right in the world. The royal family, William and Charles, cannot continue smearing Harry and Megan, cannot continue briefing against Harry and Megan, even targeting their kids, Archie and Lilibet, and then expect silence from Harry and Megan. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way, my family. It doesn't work that way. 
you know my family harry megan have every right in the world to the story and speak up because silence only empowers the abuser to keep on abusing harry megan please never ever keep quiet speak up you know please harry megan speak up and never ever remain quiet speak up Silence only empowers the abuser to keep on abusing. So please help me can speak up and never ever be silenced by anyone. My family, as I end this video, it is absurd, foolish even, for William and Charles to demand for Harry to keep quiet and say nothing while they continue to brief and leak against Harry Meghan. While they continue to send the minions to America to harass Harry there. To harass Megan there. To try and get her deported from the US and back to the UK. To force him back. And then they say, Harry, keep quiet. Harry, don't speak about what happened. Harry is done. Being the royal family scapegoat. Who is expected to be the one who puts up with abuse, insults. Has to watch the woman he loves suffer. And then just... You know, to prop up Prince William McKibbleton. Harry refuses to be used like that. Megan refuses to be used like that as the farm's scapegoat. And it's high time that William and Charles show some respect to Prince Harry Megan and stop this smear campaign against Harry Megan. If they refuse to stop, then they can't complain if Harry Megan decide to speak up. You cannot complain. You can't. You know? You can't. You can't. In my family, how I said it was done. You know, sharing my family story. He said he was done. And he said what he wanted to say, my family. But my family, this constant continued harassment of Harry Megan, even targeting. His kids, Archie Lipidana, may end up motivating Prince Harry to write another book. You can attack a man's family and then be like, keep quiet, keep quiet, don't say anything, Harry, don't say anything, Harry. You can't go to America to harass Megan there and then say, Megan, keep quiet, don't you dare speak up. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You know? Harry and Megan have every right in the world to speak up. They have every right in the world to fight this hate campaign and smear campaign that has been waged against them by the media and by the farm. And my family, this smear campaign is a bad look on William and Charles. And the more they refuse to condemn my family, the more they suffer immense reputational damage with each and every single passing day. My family, I think I've said enough. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. May God bless you all and stay tuned to this video. Love also forever and may no weapon from like Harry, Megan, Archie and also Lilibet, Diana, Eva, Vespa. May God bless you all. Stay tuned to this video. Love also forever, my family. Keep praying for Megan and keep wishing them all the best. UK Media, you are not going to do to Prince Harry what you did to Harry's late mother. Stop with the crash you know, threats. You are not going to do to Prince Harry what you did to his mother. You are not going to do to Meghan what you did to Diana. Not this time. Not this time. My family, please stay tuned to this video. Love was forever. And may God bless you all my family. May God bless each and every single one of you. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day. 
and i hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot a lot of things with that and so much more stay tuned to our next video leave a comment below like and subscribe love you family always and forever sayonara